Hello there guys and welcome to another Unity Masterpiece World Truck Racing. This game has very poor ratings on Steam. Uh, picked it up during the sales for a couple of pennies and thought I would have a little bash at it. It's going to be a one-off again uh, because um, you can't actually complete this game. There's uh, tournaments that you can go into and championships, but you can only get up to, I think, the fourth tournament. And then the game crashes and you can't actually complete anything. So we're going to just have a little play around, really, just to see what it's like. So um, I've already created a profile and everything else. So we're just going to go straight into the tour. And the first race is at Nürburgring, or Nürnberg, as they call it on here. Uh, we didn't qualify, and we're starting in 8th place. I've already skipped the qualifying in practice already. So, uh, yeah, it's only one lap. Circuit length, 4,000 meters. Now, everyone knows what the Nürburgring looks like. You're in for a treat. I'm not going to do anything to the, to the uh, truck either. I'm not going to soup up or anything. We're just going to go in and uh, see how we get on for this first race. You are in for a treat. Yeah, you always get like a bit of white noise at the very start as well. And here we go. Yeah, does this look like look like a Nurburgring? I don't bloody think so. Um, the engine sounds are um, sounds pretty much like a fart in a bath. To be honest, that is all I can describe it as. It doesn't sound anything like trucks at all but uh yeah does this remind you of nurburgring yet because it sure bloody doesn't to me it's um yeah it's rather unique but yeah apparently i've had a look at some of the reviews that people have left and um they are all pretty much justified with how bad this game truly is uh, we're, we've already got a seven second lead, so that is wonderful. Uh, there's a way to change your view, but I don't think it works. So, uh, it's taken me so long just to get the bloody controller to work, and braking doesn't work either. Not very well. But there's just no variation in the engine notes. It's, it literally just sounds like someone's face-planting a bunch of pots and pans. Or you've got a flat tire and you're just scraping along on the rim. That's pretty much what it sounds like. But yeah, I mean, even the tracks don't look like they're real life counterparts, which apparently they do. Um, hmm. But anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a shame though that uh, everyone seems to be having problem with uh, the fact that you try and start the fourth tournament. And you just get a loading screen. So nothing else actually happens. Oh, here we go. Finishing the final lap. Or the only lap, I should say. 14 second gap. Not too bad. Top speed of 160. I'm assuming that's kilometers an hour. We're in fifth gear. And the start finish line is all the way down there. And there you go. <laughs> that is it. So you... <laughs> William Joke... Yes, this game... Even this game knows it's a joke. William Joke, Andy Boring. <laughs> I think the developer knows this, that, that this game is very bad. Uh, Anthony Fersh. John Dewu. Yeah. David Wink. Okay. Let's get back to the menu then. If it eventually loads. Ah, race number two. We're in Albacete in Spain. Let's see if this actually looks like Albacete. Do you want to start training? No. Do you want to start qualification? No. I don't want to start Quilty. Thank you very much. And here we go. Oh, it looks exactly the same as Nürburgring. <laughs> wow. Step aside for... Whoa! Okay. I was just about to say, step aside Formula Truck 2013, there's a new king on the prowl, but, um, yeah, have you ever seen trucks fly like polystyrene? Well, there you go. What the hell is that supposed to be in the background? Just a, a block of something? I don't know. 
Uh, oh, it's three laps this time instead of the usual one. I'm disappointed now. I didn't figure out which uh, key was to change view. Okay, we've already got a four second lead after one corner. But my god, this is... Hmm. I don't really know. Was this made by the same developer as uh, Kart Racing? It might be. I haven't actually looked. What's with the weird-ass blocks on the side of the track, though? I don't remember advertisement billboards looking like this. Maybe this is supposed to be some, like, futuristic, you know, near-future kind of experience. Maybe this is what motor racing is going to look like in about ten years. Controls actually not too bad. They're worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so 18 second lead. And uh, coming up to the end of lap one. You got pit stops as well. I wonder if you could actually make pit stops. I suppose your truck might get damaged enough, but oh well. I don't understand this. You cross the start finish line, but the actual finish line is all the way down here. Really can't get my head around that. You don't even have to take your foot off the accelerator either. You can just go around there at full speed and the truck just slows itself down. I don't think there's any driving aids on or anything like that. Oh, and apparently uh, we're smoking. Yeah, let's get around. Perfect. Well, let's just say this game is a lot better than Road Madness. It does actually look a lot better than that. And it does feel solid, even though the trucks do fly around like polystyrene blocks. Which uh, can be quite humorous. But let's just get this first tournament finished. Now, we've lost a lot of time now. It's 38 seconds. It was 40-odd just now, I think. Well, I might be just reading that wrong. I don't know. Let's see if we can beat the lap record. Oh, the engine sings, though. It's very... I don't know how to describe the... the engine noise. It's like... People are on the side of the track with washboards, going over them with spoons. And why is there so many grid slots? You're only allowed eight trucks on the track at any one time. Don't toy with us like that, Jesus Christ. And... Hey, 57.10. Not bad. Final lap. God, that is awful. Someone's just put a load of pots and pans and saucepans in a tumble dryer. I'm sure of it. That's where they got the sound effects from. I'm sure that's what they've done. Or a load of spoons. Cutlery. Brick systems. Yeah, you'll be shitting bricks if you paid them money. This game is like three ninety nine, two ninety nine, something like that full price I was you know in second thoughts to pay 41 pence for this game it was only the fact that the uh, negative reviews I thought it would just be a good laugh to do a one off video of and granted it is a good laugh but 41 pence is, is not worth that and if you're the person who developed this game then, um, don't quit your day job. That's all I can say. Apparently a couple of people on the Steam forums have said that they tried two years ago to get in touch with the devs to let them know that the uh, the game isn't completable. 
two years ago and they never got a response back. So uh, it's another one of those uh, take your money and run kind of deals. Which, um, yeah. Steam really need to filter out some of these companies that just do this kind of thing. Because it's not good at all. Especially not for actual indie developers who actually give a damn. Puts their name in a bad light. But anyway, we get another victory and the game just ends there. So Andy Boring got second place that time. Wonderful. And where are we now? Nagaro in France. Awesome. Skip training, skip qualifying, and two laps this time around Nagaro. It does that weird white noise thing at the beginning every single time. Oh, quick start. Let's see if we can all make it through turn one this time. That noise as well, when you change when a truck changes gear, it sounds like someone's sighing. Like, ugh. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. And you as well. Can we get past you? Kind of. Yes. Oh, and they've all gone off. What's going on here? They all just decided to go grass tracking. Well, that makes our life easier. We've taken the lead. I'm just looking at the scenery and just thinking I've, I've never seen this kind of thing on the side of race circuits. you got a bloody Mongolfier on the side there. So, let's break this down then. Let's do this a proper review style. Sound is 2 out of 10. Ideal if you have a fetish for cutlery being in a tumble dryer. Other than that, definitely not. Um, sounds are pretty atrocious. Music is... Sounds pretty much like stock examples. Um, not very good either, so that'll be class with that. So, 2 out of 10 for sound. Graphics... Uh, I would say 4 out of 10. They're not the best, but they're not all that bad either. I mean, there's a lot worse out there that you could buy, like Road Madness, um, for one. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, not great, so about 4 or 5 out of 10. Um, replayability, obviously not, because the game cannot be completed, as I mentioned already. Uh, controls... A bit on the sensitive side, so I would say 5 out of 10 with that. Um, so all in all, overall, I would say, out of all together, I would give it about a 3.5 out of 10, all together, if I want to do my averages. So yeah, if you want to uh, send a game to someone that you really hate, then this is the perfect gift for them, uh, other than that, steer well clear. I am putting myself through this so you don't have to. So there you go. Uh, we'll finish this one final race and then we'll call it a day because, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to waste the rest of my time on this game. That's for sure. I mean, there's no real sense of speed either. Apparently you're going 158 kilometers an hour, but there's just no sense of urgency. It's just like you're pooting along going to the bloody shops. Oh, and there's the AI trucks are on the other side there. And there's no difficulty, I don't think. Um, so there's no way to ramp up the AI difficulty at all.
So, yeah, another easy victory, and the... What did the crowd look like? Oh, their cardboard cutout. See what I mean now about the... the... the noise. It sounds like someone sighing. Do it again. See, it's, what is that? That is not a hissing noise that should be heard. It's really strange. There's 18 grid slots on the circuit. The other 10 trucks couldn't come out to play. But there you go. Race complete. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. What more is there to say, really? Oh, we got to event two. Nice. And we got the Ben Ben, ben Yu Cup. Yeah, so, uh, uh. See, there's all these event eight, event nine, event. So you can go up to event 15, but you can only really get up to event four and then it crashes, so. Anyway, that was event one complete. Um, we got victories on all of them. You don't actually unlock anything else either. Um, no, I don't, I don't actually think you unlock anything at all. The, the options are pretty basic, as you can see. Yeah, it's uh, not the best. Anyway, that was World Truck Racing. I hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly did. He lies. Um, and I will see you for something a little bit better next time. So thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, take care.